Hi guys, guess what I bought today? Some more solar stake lights or post lights. This time I was in home bargains. And they're only 79 pence each. Cheapest I've come across. Insert one 1.2 volt AAA 600 milliamp nickel metal hydride. Rechargeable battery included into the compartment, making sure the polarity is past most. Right, that sounds interesting. Okay, off on, on. Yep, yeah, we got some charge in there. I bought three because I want to take two apart and pinch the panels off them for one of my little solar projects and then leave one working normally in the garden to compare to all those other ones that I've bought. Oh, this is very old style, this. A normal AAA battery. This is just like the ones I used to have that I took apart ages ago, years ago. I tried to set up a, a charger to charge a whole load of them. I even tried doing a phone battery with it, which was complete failure. Right, if we can get this out. That's going to pop out anyway. Okay. We will do what we've done with all the others and have a look to see what chip it's got on it. Okay, so there's our circuit board. Are we in focus? No, we're not at all. Sorry about that. Okay, so on off switch, LED, inductor, chip. Solar panel going that way and battery going that way. When there's light on the solar panel, that chip sends the power to the battery to charge it. When there's no light on the solar panel, that chip sends the power from the battery to the LED to light it up. Can I hold that still enough to focus on it? Oh, come on, you're in focus and I move my hand. YX eight oh one eight B I think Yep, there we are. Well that's a good old fashioned one that when I say old fashioned These are the type that I used to buy years ago. I said that already. Sorry for repeating myself. So, yeah, we'll put one of them in the garden and see how it gets on. I'm going to say the other two, what I'll do is I'll heat them up to soften the hot glue in the back there and pinch the panels off for one of my little projects. Not the cheapest way of getting a solar panel. You can get them online, get a pack of them quite cheaply, all the way from China. But I'm going to use these. So we're in the garden. Birds are singing. So we've got 
Asda, 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 Asda. Poundland, Poundland, Poundland. Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's. Wilco. And now Home Bargains on the end. That panel looks the same size as that one, which looks the same size as that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And those three are smaller. So I'm expecting that one to be the same sort of power. We will find out. Obviously it really needs a full day of sunshine to be able to compare to the other ones. But we'll have a peek out later on tonight to see what it's doing. I am doing a bit of an ongoing video series looking at these at night see how they compare to each other and I have to say the Sainsbury's ones, those two are not performing very well, the others are doing okay Well it's about half past one in the morning the new Home Bargains stake light which is the far left hand one is still a light and that certainly didn't have a full day's worth of sun on it so that's doing all right the Wilco one is the next one on the left that's okay but the two Sainsbury's ones have definitely gone out so starting from the left Home Bargains, Wilco, Sainsbury's, Sainsbury's, Poundland, Poundland, Poundland and then for Asda. Disappointed with the Sainsbury stuff. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.